A very beautiful morning to you. Many thanks for joining us on our morning program here on Super Screen Television. It's Super John. I am Precious Amayu. And it's a wonderful morning being with you today on the Thursday edition of the program. And blessed among us, many thanks for joining us. And just before uh, we open by Summer Blessed, we're talking about the ability to, uh, is it hustle? You know, if I, if I will use that word, um, but the ability to, I think it's been aggressive, but we're going to use a better word. And we're looking at states in the country. I, I, I'm looking at it from this perspective, the ability to be able to adapt to the street life in every so uh, society every, you find you yourself. Find yourself. Yeah. And, and you said that um, you, if you have the mentality of the street life up there, you don't have to experience it. And I'm like, no, it doesn't have to be that That's not what I meant. <laughs> we're looking at states right and if, the thing is a lot of people who live in lagos mm. would say that they can't live anywhere else certainly and um, people who live in abuja would say they can't live, live in, in lagos, lagos but the thing is if you have not lived anywhere else you will understand that you can actually live there i i it, i never thought i could ever live outside of lagos for, you know um after a very long time but when i did i enjoyed where i lived and everywhere i've lived outside of lagos i have enjoyed tremendously and until you live outside of your you know comfort zone again you really don't know how beautiful it is somewhere else yeah definitely that's true i i concur to that but it's all about your ability to be able to adapt to every society you find yourself and all that but then again you can't take away that uh, street spirit for me, wherever you find yourself, you can even be in the, um, New York or you find yourself in Dubai and all that. But if that spirit is in you, like it's running through your veins, definitely it's going to react and all that. I agree. And that's why when people say, oh, you know, if I, if I go abroad, I'll make it. And mm -hmm. I'm like, if you're, if you're lazy here, you're <laughs> going to be lazy. It's true. If you're that's lazy here, if you're lazy, if you're not hardworking here, mm. there's no country that will put you in. Even if that country has gold on the street, mm. you'll be too lazy to pick up boots. That's true. So you have to at least be hardworking anywhere before you can succeed. That's why I say Nigerians can succeed, or most Nigerians can succeed, succeed anywhere, anywhere in the world. Because, you know, we're hardworking. That's true. But, um, we'll take a break now, and when we return, we're looking at the headlines on the papers. Do stay with us. Super Dawn, your daily live current affairs program where topical issues that border on politics, economy, sport, and sizzling national issues are analyzed. Now holds every Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Super Screen Television. Let your voice be heard. Join us. Screen television is now on Star Times Channel 173. Now our tentacles are extended to give you the very best of sports, news, entertainment shows, current affairs, blockbuster movies, and lots more. Tune in to Star Times Channel 173 and enjoy the very best of Super Screen Television. Now you're talking. Yo, welcome back. You're still super done right here on Super Screen Television, UHL 4 to 5 and Star Times 173. And uh, we're looking now, we're focusing now on the tablet review. And on the tablet review this morning, we have the Nation newspaper, The Punch, um, The Guardian, and Daily Chess newspaper for us to look at the stories that are on the front page. And I'm starting off now with the Nation newspaper this morning. And I have here our article block restructuring has VP. Um, that's coming from Vice President Jimmy Oshibanjo. And I also have on the front page of the Nation newspaper CCT trial. Federal government freezes on August five accounts. That's really an interesting one. 
Also, we have here Sagi. While NJC can't consider an August case, while NJC can't consider an August case, and that's coming from it's a Sagi. And I also have here Mago detectives in Ghana to block slush funds. Detectives in Ghana to block slush funds. Don't vote PDP. And President Mamadou Buhari urges Nigerians, court orders Air, ex Air Chief Amosu to forfeit 2.2 billion naira to federal government. And I also have here the polls. We are good to go, says INEC Chair. We are good to go. And that's coming from the INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu. And finally, on the Nation newspaper this morning, I have acting IG Adamu to senior officers' massive deployment coming. So they should watch out for that. And that does it for me on the Nation newspaper this morning. All right, now looking at the front page of the Guardian newspaper, the headline says Federal Government Freezes a Bank Account of CJN Water Onogen. A federal government freezes bank accounts of CJN Walter Onoge. And still on the uh, front page of the Guardian newspaper, Buhari urges media to expose corrupt governors, others. Sultan of Sokoto, others warn clerics against predicting election winners. Sultan of Sokoto, others warn clerics against predicting election winners. And still on the front page, Imo APC sues Oshomole suspends a factional state chairman. I will reposition dented police image, and that's coming from the new IGP, Adamu Mohammed. He says he will reposition dented police image. Um, that's one thing that a lot of Nigerians will be looking forward to, how he would do that, and then the outcome of that. But away from that story now, court to rule February 11 in patients, Jonathan's alleged um, 12.2 billionaire fraud. Courts to rule February 11 in patients Jonathan's alleged 12.2 billion naira fraud. And still on the front page, court fixes February 26 for parties to decide on Bade's case. And finally, on the Guardian newspaper, Atiku vows to privatize NNPC, power others for economic growth. Atiku vows to privatize NNPC, power others for economic growth. And that's all for the front page of the Guardian newspaper. And taking over now with the Punch newspaper this morning, still on the tabloid review on Superdone this morning. Parliamentary system divides Northern government leaders. Parliamentary system divides Northern leaders. Courts decide suit seeking for feature of patients Jonathan, patients Jonathan $8.4 million, $7.3 billion naira. NBA, Sans, CUPP, kick as FG orders freezing of CJN's bank account. And also, I have here dangerous precedents have been set in CJN's trial. And that's coming from um, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano. And I also have here acting IG blames Rod in MPF on weak leadership. All right, it's so good for him saying this at this point in time. And we do hope that he faces that as the new acting IG. Also, we have here police porter closes as um, 315,002 apply for 10,000 vacancies. And I also have here Boko Haram sponsored by forces outside Nigeria. And that's coming from our president himself, President Muhammadu Buhari. And finally, on the Punch newspaper this morning, FG6, final forfeiture of six houses, $1 million allegedly owned by Badi. You find details of this and more when you get yourself a, a copy of the Punch newspaper this morning. And away from the Punch newspaper now to the front page of the Daily Trust. Um, the banner headline here reads, Election, defeat seems impossible, Buhari says. Um, election, defeat seems impossible, Buhari says. You find details of that on the front page and it continues on page 6 of the Daily Trust. Asset. AGF asks NFIU to freeze CJN's bank accounts. AGF asks NFIU to freeze CJN's bank accounts. Details on page 3. And still on the front page, ex ed chief Amosu forfeits 2.2 billion naira to the federal government. And you find details of that on page 4. 2019 polls. Security, our major concern. U.S. others um, on the 2019 polls, um, the U.S. US and you know other stakeholders are saying security 
or other observers are saying security is a major concern. If you're interested in that story, you find more details of, uh, on page 13 of the Daily Trust. And still on the front page, I will privatize NNPC if elected article insist. I will privatize NNPC if elected article insist. Um, a lot of Nigerians probably will be wary of privatization at this point. But, you know, there have also been complaints about NNPC. So um, it's two sides of the coin to see how that works, if he's elected, if he's elected. But away from that now to the back page of the Daily Trust. Um, on the sports review here, Maine, Liverpool will be champions of England. Um, details of that on page 47, which is the back page of the Daily Trust. Sharapova wins to set up Wozniacki clash. Um, Sharapova wins to set up Wozniacki uh, clash, and that's for tennis. And then back to football, Balotelli close to joining Marcel from uh, um, Nice. It's been a while what we heard about Balotelli after he was in the, um, he was in the Syria A. He was really, really famous for a lot of racial slur against him. But it's been a while, but uh, he's, he's, he's now joining Marcel from nice but away from sports now managing perceptions of the 2019 elections that's an opinion by gdo4 at db managing perceptions of the 2019 elections and that's all for the front and the back page of the daily trust um blessed just to ask which of the stories resonate with you you know when you, when you okay quickly i'll take the one here uh on the punch newspaper where um, the nba sends CUPP kicked as um, FD orders the freezing of the CJN's bank accounts. Um, we've seen the story, the, the story has been unfolding, and we've seen different um, dimensions to the story and all that. But for me, when I read from the front page of the nation newspaper how the, uh, the federal government has ordered the, um, the free, freezing of the um, Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Noggin, five accounts, I, I believe. For these people to come out to kick against it shows that, um, <laughs> permit me to use the word, that the fight um, f of, of, of this particular case um, is really, really, really getting interesting by the day. Um, but we, we we're just hoping and watching out that at the, at the end of it all, we we'll, we'll they find a lasting solution to, to the trial case. Um, I mean, when you speak to lawyers, lawyers are, are one side. And then you also have um, technocrats, if I will use that word, you know, on the other side. A, a lot of people, there are some people who within the society are also, you know, standing with the lawyers to say, um, you can't prosecute the CJN. Um, but they, they, they have said, you know, and of course there is a Supreme Court ruling that says you cannot prosecute any judicial officer ex except that person has, you know, been found guilty by the NGC. But he has gone on to be prosecuted by, or he's been arraigned by the CCT, even though he has not, he didn't appear, you know, during his case. And now he's, they're asking the NFIU, which is the Financial Intelligence Unit, yes. you know, to freeze his account. And of course, you would expect judicial officers to kick against that because they have been saying it from the very beginning that, you know, the CCT has no right to prosecute or arraign, you know, or no against. So um, it's a very interesting case, especially because it's almost now looking like an executive situation against yeah. judiciary, uh, even though it's not supposed to be like that, but it's, it's beginning to look like that. Um, like you said, we hope that all of this is resolved as, as soon as possible just because you know election is around the corner mm, yeah. and this is the man who sits at the helm of the judiciary and of course the election case is pending so that we don't have all of this situation um hampering the smooth um, operation or the smooth process of the election That's but um it's still on the election the one that resonates with me it's um what we had it was a report yesterday on the news where we um, saw the Khan president um his eminence ayokunle um samson ayokunle and um, um, his royal highness, the Sultan of Sokoto, Saad Abubakar, coming together with other clerics, yeah. you know, coming together to say, you know, um, clerics should stop predicting election winners. Yeah. I mean, this is something, this is commendable, you know, for them to come together, Christian, the Christian leader and the Muslim leader coming together to say, look, stop predicting election winners. We've seen this over and over again across board. People saying, I know this person is going to win, that person is going to win, this person will die before election. And it really causes a lot of crisis. It causes a lot of um, um, mayhem in the society, especially when you're the supporter of someone. And you mm -hmm. hear that, you know, somebody has predicted they won't win or they will die. You know, it's not good for um, de our nascent democracy. So it's good to see these leaders put aside, you know, whatever it is to come together and, and speak to, to us as a people.
All right, all well, that's well said. And uh, we're going to be looking away from the tabloid review this morning. And then again, when we return after this break, we're going to be looking at the focus of our topic of discussion this morning. We're looking at the elections. Um, the election is just a few weeks um, away. We'll look, which we'll be starting off with the presidential election on February About the 16th. About 30 days away. Sorry? About 30 days away. About 30 days away. And that's like um, two weeks or thereabouts. A month. Okay. All right, so we'll count it down to the elections and then we're starting off with the presidential election on the 15th, 16th of February 2019. And uh, with all that, um, that, that that's currently happening in our country right now, just two days ago, INEC releases the election guideline for the forthcoming election. And these are what we're going to be looking at today, this morning, and looking at every issue that are concerning it and I hope to, to, to um, look into it critically and see the great areas and look at how we're going to move have a successful election um, come to it tonight. So don't go nowhere, we'll still be back after this break. It's still super done, right here on Super Screen Television. <laughs>